Good morning, guys. It's uh, Tuesday the 19th. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. I have a doctor's appointment today at 2.30. And today will be the day I find out if they're able to help me quit smacking. Um, whatever means it might be, because I want to quit. I just don't have the willpower. So, I'm going to bring you along today as like in a vlog style, like I used to do. And, uh, and wish me luck, guys. I hope, I'm, I'm hoping... And praying that they will be able to help me quit smoking starting today so I'll see y'all when I get ready to head off to my doctor's appointment hey guys uh, I know I said I was gonna let y'all know when I was heading to the doctor's office and I forgot because um, my brother came real early and we just sat around and just chilled um I got some good news um my blood pressure was fine finally don't you know I still have problems with my blood pressure but today it turned out fine um and I'm still at 175 so I haven't gained no weight I mean I haven't lost any but I haven't gained any but you know it's, I'd rather not gain it you know um and he's they did an EKG on me and my heart is normal everything's normal everything's fine which is great which means they can get me help to quit smoking. Um, they're gonna try something. I know it is sorry, I'm trying to get comfortable here. The kiddos are taking up the whole bed. <laughs> got a big queen size bed and they think they gotta take it all up. Powder poof. Powder. Powder. What are you doing? Okay then. Um so they're gonna try and put me on something to help me quit. Because I've been able to cut back a lot, but I just don't have the willpower to just stop on my own. Because I, I tend to get into my cravings. So, I'm excited. Once he looks at my EKG and sees everything's normal, he's, you know, if he says it's normal, which they said it was, he's gonna let me know what him and the other doctor decide on doing. Which, best case scenario, they can put me on something to help me quit. Um, so that's awesome. But I did find out something today. I am on something to help me sleep. But I found out today that they also use that same something for people that need to gain weight. Or they want them to gain weight pretty quick. Because it makes you want to eat. Yeah. I was put on something with me being overweight. And I was put on something to help me sleep. That makes me eat. That's why, you know, I don't... I'd go all day without eating, and then when I'd take this medicine for me to go to sleep, within 30 minutes to an hour, I felt like I was starving to death. Come find out, well, you know, hey, it's the medicine causing it. So, we're cutting me down on that one, and we may end up changing it. I don't know, or I may be getting off of it completely and just sticking with the melatonin. I don't know yet. We're going to see how things go, but today was a good day. Everything... You know, it was nice to hear, you know, everything's normal. Everything's good, you know. And I told him, you know, he asked me how I'd been doing with my anxiety. It's getting a lot better. My mood swings are not very often. And they're pretty mild. Now, I do still have a, every once in a while, I have a bad day where it's like a bad mood swing. But that's not very often. That's gotten better. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. No whining. But everything's getting better. And I'm got more energy now I've lost so much weight and and he was happy to see that big difference from the first time I went in their office in December um so that's great actually no November since November so he, he was he's like that's good now we need to get you to quit smoking and you'll be even better and I was like yes yes that's what I want you know because I don't want to end up with like my daddy with you know COPD and emphysema and then end up with lung cancer and which I know I'm still at high risk for that because I did smoke but you know hey I'd rather quit now and lower my chances of this ha of that happening so anyway I'm gonna make this short um I gotta go edit the video for Tuesday so 
which is today. Uh, I should have edited it last night, but I didn't. I got lazy. Um, so I'll see y'all guys in the next one, and I hope y'all have a good one too. Bye. All right, guys. Um, I heard from my doctor today, and you know that text said my heart was normal. He said it, it's slow. Um. He was looking for the QT levels for my heart, which is, I had my niece explain to me today because she's a CNA and she's in school to become a nurse. So that's one of the first things she had to learn. And I was telling her what he said that, you know, it's a little above normal. So and she was telling me that means that I have a slow heartbeat. And the medicine he was worried about maybe putting me on to help me quit smoking he said he doubt it would happen. It's very, very rare that it happens. But it could possibly slow my heart down enough to work and throw me into cardiac arrest. Because I already have a slower heartbeat. He said it's very rare. Now, if it was slower than what it is, he said it's just a little above normal, then he would worry about it. So, he's going to talk to one of his colleagues and they're going to figure out what to do. But I think... I'm going to try, Does, if anybody out there, any of my YouTube friends, you know, people that's known me for years, or anybody on here, have any suggestions, I cannot do patches. Um, I'm allergic to the patches. I'm allergic to the adhesive they use on them. But any nicotine gum that does not taste absolutely horrible, or like you're chewing a mouthful of pepper, please... Give me your recommendations. I've tried just chewing gum and mints. It don't work. Um, I've got to figure something out. But, alright. I guess I'll see you on the next one. Bye.